are you guys so welcome back to my channel i wanted to go ahead and talk about my yellow powder collection today okay um i feel like there's so many powders out there when it comes to yellow powders and it's just hard to know which one is good which one you should stay away from which one is all right it's just so many choices okay so i wanted to make it easier for you guys and show you my actual yellow powder collection let you guys know my thoughts on my favorites which ones are not my favorites all of that good stuff and just kind of go from there so i hope you guys are excited make sure you go ahead and of course like subscribe and let's jump right into the video okay so i'm just gonna grab random powders in different orders that way it's just kind of a little bit more exciting to talk about so the first one that i'm seeing is the maybelline fit me loose finishing powder i have it in the shade deep fonce number 35 now if you guys have watched my channel since the beginning you guys know this powder right here was one of those powders that really pivoted my youtube you know I don't want to say career but like my youtube world honestly because once i posted this you know review on this powder that video blew up all right so i have a special place in my heart for this powder but this one right here you know is one of those powders that if you don't want to spend a lot of money on high-end you know products this one is more affordable it is drugstore and you probably prefer it a little bit more so let me go ahead and show you guys what it looks like up close i'm trying not to spill it and i will bring it back here that way you can see the true shade of the powder now keep in mind of course this is a yellow powder on my skin tone but if you need something a little bit lighter go ahead and pick up a different shade um but i will say this powder um a lot of people say it's best for your face which i will agree on because it's more so of like a finishing powder for your face but i also use it as an under eye powder and i do prefer it with a brush just a little bit of it goes a long way do not bake with this i think it's too heavy for that um it can look a little bit cakey a little bit heavy if you do use like a heavy hand with this but just a little bit of powder set your under eyes i think you'll be fine and of course you can go ahead and use this for your face as well so this powder i wanted to go ahead and mention you know more so of like an affordable option in case you are interested now the next one i do want to mention is the laura mercier translucent loose set in powder this is the yellow version and i love laura mercier is powder i feel like it's so lightweight it gives you a nice blur effect it looks like you have a filter it is just so smooth and flawless every single time and honestly it doesn't matter how much of this powder you put on your face it never looks cakey okay so when she came out with the yellow one i literally screamed because i always thought about a yellow powder you know when it comes to laura mercier and when it came out i was just like wow i love this for me okay so this is what it looks like i got the mini version and this powder i will hold it back here so you can see the true Ooh, it spilled everywhere but that way you can see the true color of it but just in case you are wondering this is what it looks like up close but i know my light is gonna blur it but let me go ahead and swatch it for you guys so you can see what it looks like and it's more so on the lighter end when it comes to a yellow powder but it still has like those yellow undertones in there okay but it's beautiful when it comes to baking your under eyes setting your under eyes with just a brush it doesn't matter what you do it's always gonna look good and i will go ahead and link the video above honestly for all these products i'm gonna go ahead and link the video because i've done reviews on them so you can see what it looks like like on my face but i love this one it's so good so next up i do have the path mcgrath labs powder i forgot the name of it because it's completely wiped off in the back but i think it's a skin fetish powder if i'm correct um but this is in the shade i don't even know why i'm looking because it rubbed off all right i will link everything down below for you guys but this is what it looks like it is in a compact form okay but this more so i don't love it by itself in terms of like once i go ahead and apply my concealer and just go in with this powder and set it it is not my favorite for that but what i do love it more so is like of a touch of powder okay throughout the day if i'm getting oily or i want to make my under eyes a little bit more brighter and awake i will go in with this powder it's more so of a brightening powder but let me swatch it for you guys and show you what it looks like on the back of my hand and you can see like it is more so on the lighter end but it's so lightweight like even on the back of my hand on camera you can tell like it has like a blurring effect under under eyes okay um it's not my absolute favorite powder in the whole entire world but i just throw it in my bag because sometimes i do need it because your girl gets oily all the time so i will go ahead and just set the areas that i typically bake or i'll go ahead and just touch it up you know whatever it is and make it a little bit more brighter underneath the eyes so 
yes this one is good a lot of people don't talk about it but it's just something that i bought and picked up one day and i just use it you know here and there so sticking with the eye brighteners the next one i do have is a charlotte tilbury airbrush brightening um flawless finish complexion eye and face powder it's such a long name that i get so tongue twisted but this is what it looks like when it first came out i just ran and grabbed it because i love charlotte tilbury i love her products i feel like she takes her time to make sure that they're actually worth you know the money so this one is in the shade tan deep and i will say on camera like it's not always like it never shows like the deep yellowness of this powder because it's a lot deeper than it shows on camera but i'll bring it up close for you guys and kind of tilt it a little bit it has a lot more yellow than you think okay just go ahead and swatch it in store you'll see what i mean but this powder i love it so much as a brightening powder of course you know based on the name but as a brightening powder it really just blurs everything a little bit more gives you more brightness of course underneath the eyes and it just looks beautiful and you guys if you watch my video which i will link it above and i tested this out on one side by itself and then i tried it i believe on the other side alongside my typical baking powder and i just feel like it looked a little bit more flawless when you use it as a topper powder okay a topper powder is a powder that you don't use by itself but you will add it on top of you know something else so i feel like it's more so great for that this by itself i just felt like my under eyes didn't look you know as smooth and as flawless as it typically does because i was using it you know the wrong way so definitely go ahead and pick this one up i don't think you'd be disappointed i just wish she had more shades okay just one more shade i feel like it would be the icing on the cake okay so charlotte if you ever see this i don't know go ahead and put one more shade now this next one is more so of a throwback but i had to go ahead and put it in this video okay i think out of all my powders that i own this is the deepest most yellow setting powder that i do have um it's the nessa myricks beauty evolution powder in the shade number three okay it's so funny how back then like y'all i was way younger i'm only i mean i'm 29 but back then i was probably like 23 and i already knew about the nessa myricks like your girl knew her people okay so i got this years ago and i was so impressed by it because number one the packaging i just love everything about it i love how it has like a mesh net right here um it just makes it so easy to work with the powder it doesn't get messy at all like the other powders um yeah i just i love everything about the packaging now when it comes to this powder y'all can see up close okay how deep and yellow this powder is and it's actually a lot deeper than you think when i can you know hold it back here for y'all it is so deep it is so yellow i was so excited because back then i think everybody was using the sasha buttercup powder and i was so tired of that powder like don't get me wrong like i loved it because back then you had no other choice but once i started to learn about other yellow powders and they started to bring out more you know products from different brands i was like all right let me just level up so this powder really changed the game for me i love how yellow and deep it is but i will say this shade is a little bit too deep for my under eyes because when i watched the videos back i just noticed that my under eyes looked so bland and just dead because it was just way too deep it wasn't bright enough so i would probably prefer the shade number two I just have to go ahead and see what that looks like but if you've been looking for a deep yellow powder this one is perfect it is so lightweight you guys like it is honestly even hard to pick up like and swatch because it is so lightweight but i love that like i love that okay so let me swatch it for you guys let me remove the other powders that i have and show you guys what it looks like on the face okay yeah this is it man i just i love everything about this powder it is so so good so definitely go ahead and pick it up i did my research it is still around i believe on the sephora site double check the sephora site but if it's not there check the nessa Myrick site because i know it's still out there so moving on to fenty okay i do have two of you know the yellow powder this is the pro filter instant retouch setting powder i have it in the shade honey and i also have it in the shade banana all right let's talk about this powder so i've been saying this for years ever since it came out this powder is not my absolute favorite powder when it comes to baking my under eyes or even setting my under eyes but more so bacon okay i told you guys um it kind of reminds me of the maybelline powder they're a little bit more heavy all right i love a lightweight 
powder that way my under eyes doesn't look too cakey now some people out there may be able to handle the heaviness of this powder but my under eyes y'all is so bougie like it tells me when it doesn't like something and this powder it just never looks you know perfect under under eyes but i will say this when i go ahead and grab a brush take a very light hand with this powder and set my under eyes it doesn't look bad and i love it okay so i was like all right i just i don't know how to feel about it um but i will say when it comes to you know um snatching your nose if you watch my tutorial on how to snatch your nose this powder is my absolute favorite it just snatches my nose perfectly um and actually let me show you guys the shades that way y'all can see what i'm talking about so this one is in the shade banana it's a little bit more on the lighter side probably can't even see it because it's so light but yeah that's what it looks like it has a little bit more yellow than you're seeing on camera and then this is in the shade honey the one in honey this is the one that i got um the first go around and um i liked it but it was just way too dark it wasn't really brightening my under eyes for me like at all so that's what that looks like um but what i love it for is snatching my nose i feel like it does a great job at that and then also using it as a light hand on my under eyes okay but in case you guys are interested let me swatch this on the back of my hand and i feel like her formula of her powders have kind of changed because it's a little bit not as heavy as it used to be back in the day so the top one right here is banana and the bottom one is honey y'all can just tell the difference between the two right yeah you can tell the difference so the one for honey i love more so for probably like setting my face a little bit more um but banana is my go-to i love it as an eye brightener for snatching my nose you know all of that is my favorite so last but not least if you're an og of mine you already know you already know my favorite powder in the whole entire world okay so this is the huda beauty easy bake powder in the shade kanafa and recently i also got the powder in the shade banana bread and i'll explain the difference in a little bit but this powder to me when it comes to a yellow powder is the best all-around powder i feel like it gives you the coverage that you need it always looks flawless it always looks smooth it always looks airbrushed it never looks cakey the colors like who would have killed it with the colors i feel like it's very hard to get different skin tones as like you know like from the lightest of the lightest to the darkest especially when it comes to yellow powders she has variations of yellow powders it is so beautiful to look at every time i go into far i'm just like i love it i love it so much every time i look at it but it's my all-around favorite powder in the whole entire world i try different things you guys but i always come back to this because it's just my favorite so this one in the shade kanafa is so stunning i feel like it's a true yellow powder like look at that it is so beautiful oh it's spilling everywhere okay it's getting a little messy um it's a true yellow powder so let me swatch it for y'all and it just feels so just soft i love this powder so much and i actually have it on my face today okay but what i've been doing is mixing it with the banana bread powder because this one kind of gives me like that brightening effect that i really love when it comes to powders all right so i'll show you guys what they look like side by side so the first one is banana bread but when i place this on top of this powder it gives you what i have today okay it is so stunning you guys i love love the huda beauty easy bake powder it's my favorite powder in the whole entire world all right so yes that's my entire collection i think that's everything okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know your favorite yellow powders out there are there any other powders that i need to try out because i'm up for trying out you know anything at this point so let me know down below but i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you go ahead and like subscribe i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next one